Buenas noches todos. Welcome, welcome to our ministry. A truth, not a fiction, King James. I only come over here when I feel led to come over here. I was led over here for six months. And those who were present, you know, you know us very well. We're about the good news of Jesus Christ, not condemning people to hell. Like the Pharisees and, you know, what Jesus had to say about the Pharisees. All right. Minister Joe, where are you? All right. I'm waiting on Minister Joe so we can get the ministry going. Let's go, brother. Let's go. Got to get rolling. Keep on rolling, rolling, rolling. What's up? Okay. Welcome, welcome. Long time no see. Today is the day of salvation, 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 1 and 4. Y'all believe that Jesus died and was buried and rose again on the third day for your sins according to the scriptures. Anyone that truly believes it in their heart will inherit the kingdom. Yea, you're saved by grace through faith, not of yourselves. It is a gift of God, not of your works, lest any man should boast. For Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the 613 commandments of the law. Which that's what that represents. Amen. Oh, God bless you, brother. Okay. So, if you look in Hebrews 8.13, uh, the law of Moses has waxed away and vanished. You know, we have to remember what God did. He came down in the flesh in the Holy Land to die as a living sacrifice for all mankind's sake, for their sins. If he hadn't done that, we would all be going straight to hell. Period. Because God so loved the world, he sent his only begotten son. For whomsoever shall believe it in him shall have everlasting life. It's that simple. And if you read the 13 letters of Apostle Paul to get the depths and the understanding of the good news of Jesus Christ, you'll understand what Jesus did was lay down his life for your sins. It's that simple. And Minister Joe is not present. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Welcome, welcome. You just coming in this ministry. Uh, we're starting the ministry right now. All right, he's he's here, y'all. All right, let's get the party started. What do you want? You want to get up here with Mama? Come on, boy. Come on. Get up here. Mama's with her meat. What's that thing? Go to sleep, Chiquita. You go to sleep, Mama. I love you. Hey, brother. From another mother. In the name of Jesus, I declare and decree. That this TikTok go forth and reach many of these lost souls in this last hour we're living in. In Jesus' mighty name, I declare and decree it. Amen. Hey, welcome, Minister Joe. God bless you this evening. Hey, can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Go ahead, brother. Okay, good. We got a lot of people on here. Why don't you share the precious news and line it up with the chapters and scriptures, brother? About salvation, the free gift, and uh, 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 repentance, which is in Ephesians, by the way. I love my Bible because when we when we gauge into the word and we don't allow our pride to get in the way, we're willing to take the correction and humble ourselves. I remember years ago, coming from the gangs and, and the Mexican gangs and the cartel, and, and, and devil worship and, and 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 hanging out with the witch at the uh, the Mexican clubs and being her bodyguard. I've done some crazy stuff in my past. You know what I'm saying? And um, by the grace of God, I've come a long way. I'm being shot at by gangs, uh, living to tell the stories of miracles and dreams that I had before prior two years to the shooting of a warning of who I was hanging out with. And... You know, I just want to show his love and grace and mercy to all mankind. And 
I don't care about what your religion, your background is. You know, if you believe that Jesus died, was buried, he rose again on the third day for your sins, according to the scriptures in First Corinthians chapter 15, verses 1 and 4, as it's quoted to us, the Gentiles, you will inherit the kingdom of heaven. There's nothing you could ever do, anyone on this planet, to inherit the kingdom. Jesus already paid that debt for us. But the devil, I'm telling you, back in the day, I was a Pharisee. I was self-righteous, boastful, and prideful. I was about works. Now, I didn't condemn people to hell. I never liked to say that, to be honest with you. Um, but I was very prideful. And the real Christians that were truly the bride of Christ would uh, get upset with me and tell me, you keep saying, I this, I that. You're boasting in yourself. And it took some time for me to finally realize that I was not truly saved years back through the ministry. Yeah, this was during the ministry. Even though I was called to come forth and do the ministry, uh, God used it for his glory. And people got to see the transformation of my mindset, a change of mindset from unbelief, a repent, a change of mindset from unbelief. To believe of the finished work of the cross of Calvary. And when I finally engaged and acknowledged that the devil had my blinders on my eyes and I had been deceived and lied to, I cried like a baby. I was condemning people about their Christmas, their Easter, telling my family to burn that tree. I was angry at the birthday parties. My daughter is a witness. She can tell you I'm not the same person I used to be. I've been in the gangs. I've been threatened, <laughs> I've been rejected, neglected, tortured, beaten, tied to a bed, poop forced down my throat as a toddler, backstabbed by so-called friends and Christians, let's just put that out there, but praise the Lord, because these things have made me stronger in who I am representing who Jesus Christ is. The ultimate sacrifice. And I know the devil's tricks and his tactics. And he wants to deceive us as the body of Christ. He wants us to separate because of our different teachings in the word, even though we are family in Christ and we'll spend eternity in heaven together at the appointed time this year when Jesus does come. And yes, I did say that. So if you want to run to and fro and go mock me and scoppy, so be it. Uh, God has showed me that and I stand on it and I know what he speaks is truth and it shall come to pass at his appointed time. Praise the Lord. Uh, Brother Minister Joe, can you hear me? I didn't think you could. Yes. Okay. Can you answer questions down there, brother? As I minister, I greatly appreciate it. We haven't been on here so long, so I don't know where the moderators are. Yes. If you can. Uh, yes. Brother, uh, Minister Joe, be glad to answer your questions, give you chapter and scripture so you can acknowledge uh, what the word of God says. Let's just remember one thing. Let's humble ourselves and let's quick to listen and slow to speak. Sometimes God's speaking to us. I don't want to say sometimes because there's been a lot of times in my journey over the years for this ministry. I had a lot of corrections to do because I was condemning people. I was condemning other believers thinking in my mind that I was saved. But I wasn't saved. I was doing works and not trusting the finished work of the cross of Calvary. Does that make sense? I was working for my salvation that I can't even work for that Jesus already paid. And when I acknowledge the story of Jesus, what he really did for me, and that three believers called me a Pharisee, the third one pierced me into my heart. Third one made me stop and really think over the years. Am I truly a Pharisee? Am I like the Pharisees in the Bible that are self-righteous and boastful myself? If you saw my videos back in the day and I wish one would pop up so I could post it on TikTok, you wouldn't recognize me now. From then to now. 
I was yelling and screaming in my videos when I ministered and dude, all that hogwash. Crazy, insane stuff. Being honest. Hey, Brother Joe, can you hear me? Have you been muted, brother? You still there? Oh, I knows. Hello, welcome, welcome. God bless you. God bless you. Welcome to our ministry of truth, not a fiction, King James. Okay. So once we truly trust in the finished work of the cross of Calvary that Jesus died and was buried and he rose again on the third day, four sins according to the scriptures in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 1 and 4, we acknowledge that he paid it. And there'll be some of us that are believers that will grieve the Holy Spirit, um, questioning their salvation all the time. Am I truly saved? Can I lose my salvation? Where are you getting that? That's the devil putting that in your head, Christians. He did the same to me. I would question my salvation after I had came to the knowledge of the truth and had to repent of change of mindset from non-belief to complete belief. And uh, what's the definition I can use? Confidence? Mm. The full truth within the 13 letters of that Jesus uh, met Saul, who became Apostle Paul on the third day, to bring forth the gospel and the good news. Am I hyper dispensationist? No. Do I believe that Jesus died for my sins according to the scripture, was buried, and rose on the third day? You best to believe it. Do I believe that I am saved and sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise till redemption days, as it says in Ephesians 1.13? Oh, yes, I do. I have seen his love and his grace and his mercy and his compassion he has for his children. He will chastise us, but you will not lose the free gift of salvation bought and paid in full when Jesus was tortured brutally and insides on the outside. Go read the story. It's written in the King James. Oh, here we go, that stupid echoing again. Okay, let's see. All right, thank you, Lord. And we are under the new covenant. The new covenant is the blood of Jesus Christ that was sacrificed on the cross of Calvary. And that is the new covenant. We're not under the old covenant of the law of Moses, Hebrews 8.13. Please read the content. Hebrews 8, 13, Minister Joe, can you read that out loud, please? My pancakes are going to be frozen. Yes, welcome, welcome, God bless you. In, covenant, in, 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 in he that saith an old uh, old covenant is decayeth, uh, in, and he that saith an old covenant is decayeth, and waxed away old is ready to vanish away. And what's that talking about? Hmm, I wonder. Hold on, you tell me there's 613 commandments. But I was taught 10 and brainwashed by the church building that I had 10 commandments. But wait a minute, there's actually 613 when I found that out after being a Pharisee and had a change of mindset and repented and believed the finished work. I was pissed off. Oh, she said a bad word. I'm going to judge this ministry. I was that mad, you all. I was peed off. I was peed off to the core. At the devil. Because I was sitting here up in the church, worshiping, praising, listening to worship music, listening to my hip-hop, rap, Christian music, um, trying my best to live a holy life. I even went about the feast holidays and thought I was one of the lost 144,000 male virgin Jews. Oh, but wait a minute. I can't be a male virgin Jew. Those are men. Hmm. Boom. Snapping my, my head one day. Oh, wait, am I the lost tribe? Oh, wait, but the 144,000 are the tribes. Hmm. 
Oh, they're also raptured on the day of the Lord before even we are raptured, before we are raptured. Wow. Isn't that amazing? Revelation 14. And then the Old Testament tells you the tribe of Dan about the 144,000, the mystery. I love what the chapters and scriptures points out, the facts. A lot of ministers today don't pick up their Bible and read it. And they don't line it up with scripture. And that's that's what's different about our ministry. We go word for word and line for line, chapters and scriptures, so you can acknowledge the truth. But that's up to you all, family. Mm-hmm. Go ahead, brother. I'm going to let you preach a little bit. I love. Welcome, Mark. I love you all. God bless you. Please have some love and respect on here. Okay. I'm just talking to people that, you know, come over here and be ugly and just hateful about you know, just for no reason. I'm not talking about my brothers and sisters. I'm just talking about others in general that be hating, you know. Hey, what you doing? Come on. You go to bed, baby? I love you. Go ahead, brother. For all the laws fulfilled in one word, even then this, thy art shall love thy neighbors, love thyself. That's Galatians 5, uh, 14. The law of the 613 commandments is fulfilled in one word. So wait a minute. What about my sin? Minister Joe, where, where does it talk about my sins have been paid for? Nice to meet you. Welcome, welcome. Ephesians 1.14, which is the earnest of our inheritance until the redemption of the precious possession onto the praise of his glory. Wait, what? Say that one more time. What? You can't have my pancakes. These are keto. Which is the earnest of our inheritance until the redemption of the, pri- the, the purchased possession onto the praise of his glory. Amen. What is the definition of that? And there might be some uh, Christians that are babes on milk, as Paul warned about. Some of them are carnal. That's because they follow every wind of doctrine out there. There's only one gospel. So where are you getting all these others? Any other gospel preached is a false gospel. We're to mark and avoid them. Any works added onto the free gift of salvation that's rightfully given by Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, How else do you think people are supposed to get saved? How else did I get saved? If I had to work for my salvation, I would have failed already and went to hell. Okay. Common sense. Go ahead, brother. Yes. The... It's the precious blood of Jesus that covers all of our sins, as it states in Ephesians 1, 7... In whom we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins according to the riches of his grace. Okay, did we you, did we catch that? Did we catch that? Allow the Holy Spirit, who is our teacher in chapter what? John. Amen, sister nine nine three, Ephesians one seven. Thank you for sharing the scriptures. Thank you. Uh, did you answer the question to our dear brother beyond the floor mats? Floor mats, sorry, I said that wrong. Oh, um, Luke 21, 34, and 36. Now we're going to give you chapter in scripture, brother. Don't reject it. Digest it. Because that's the teacher, your Holy Spirit. That reminds us back to all remembrance of what the word of God says. Amen? Excuse me. My shirt got sucked up in my pancake. Yeah, that's talking about um, being overcharged with surfeiting drunkenness and the cares of this life so that they come upon you on the wares. That would be believers that are just not paying attention and they're just living their lives. They would be the ones that are in that, described into that scripture, that category. And uh-huh. the, the, what's coming with what's coming on the earth, it would be a snare upon the whole world, um, even the believers, and then watching, therefore, what's the happening right now. Be, uh-huh. Be accounted worthy that you shall be escaped to stand before the Son of Man. That's actually also another um, that's another scripture that also proves that uh, you can know what time that Jesus would be coming. It doesn't mean that we need to be constantly praying to escape all these things because we already are saved because he's going to save us from what's coming. 
statue right here. All right. Once saved, always saved. I do once sealed, always sealed. Mm -hmm. So, with the work salvationist on TikTok, you all believe in once sealed, always sealed, written in the Bible? You read that chapter, brother? Mm -hmm. I bet you half of them believe they can lose their salvation. I used to, well, I don't know if I really believe that. I was more against the holidays and things. Okay, he says we cannot lose our salvation. Okay, so uh, what is the point of all this then? Because our sins are paid and nailed to the cross. So we have scripture and chapter and verse you might not be familiar with because we were brainwashed by the world in our churches we attended, a lot of us. So we have to walk away from the church. We have to dig into the scripture. But we can't just pick and choose what scriptures and we can't go by other people's opinions and options of what they think a scripture means. If they don't have the Holy Spirit, they're not going to give you the right understanding of it. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead, brother. In room, he also trusted Excuse after me. that he heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation. In room, also after that he believed, he was sealed with that Holy Spirit of promise. So once you believe, you're automatically baptized with the Holy Spirit. Not with the baptism of water. Um, you, you can do that if you're saved if you want to. It's the outer faith thing if you want to. I've been bathed so many times with baptism saying that's how you get saved, and I never got saved that way. I got saved by having a repent mind, a change of mindset from unbelief to belief of the finished work of the cross of Calvary. That's how I got saved. It wasn't water baptism. I've done that probably about, I don't even know how many times i got to count that one. Pastor always told me I needed to do that to save my soul. But every time I did, I didn't get saved. I started flopping like a fish in the water like I was a demonic possessed person. First Corinthians one seventeen. Wait, uh, yeah. Hold on. Okay. Yeah, First Corinthians one seventeen. You're fine, brother. For, for Christ sent me not to baptize, but to preach the gospel, not with wisdom of words, lest the cross of Christ should be should be of non effect, or made of non effect. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Yeah. You're baptized by the blood, not the water. Right. And you can do it as an outer faith if you want to. Go right ahead. I choose not to. Mm -hmm. I choose not to get baptized in water. I've done it so many times. Like I said, it doesn't do nothing for me. Mm -hmm. And that's just me. So if you want to judge that, so be it. <laughs> doesn't matter, matter to me. My salvation, my relationship with Abba Father, and that's nobody's concern. Amen. Preach. Yeah. Okay. So we see that salvation is freely given to all mankind. Recently, I've been seeing through our ministry a lot of judgmental Christians in the Bride of Christ that are taking people from industries with their modeling industries and judging them by their appearances and making fun of pictures and then they make excuses when I call them out to correct them humbly at first and then I got my righteous anger because I was fed up with them making fun of people I went and put a plastic bag on oh you best to believe I did would you like to see the picture I don't even know if I can do it on this phone because I don't even think I have the picture on that phone right, brother Joe you want to show the picture you can show it on your end and I went and put a plastic bag on and I said, take my picture in our ministry and, and go all over social media with it. And, uh, you know, judge me by my appearances with a plastic bag shirt. Since they wanted to make fun of these people half dressed and their style of a dress that looked like a plastic bag, in their opinion. Um, they were really being ugly and not humbling. One thing, as we need to know as ministers, if you're going to represent Christ, 
It, that attitude is not acceptable. Oh, thank you so much. Welcome, welcome. Thank you. That is not acceptable. That is not the way to represent Jesus Christ or present our Lord and Savior. The way to present our Lord and Savior is not to be a chicken when you see a Luciferian. Okay. Not to be a chicken when you see a, a goblin or any kind of different religion and say, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay. We're to show love, compassion, and kindness to all mankind. Um, we agree to disagree with their beliefs. So be it. But for this ministry, we welcome everybody here. We're going for their soul and their salvation, not their appearances and their titles of what they are. I don't look at that. I was a, a witchcraft. I thought I was a witch. I was in devil worship. Um, I wore a plastic bag on social media the other day because Christians pushed my buttons. I'm not a perfect minister. I have my flaws. I say the F-bomb here and there. I say the S-word. Okay? If you want to judge me, so be it. Like I said, and I'm going to tell you bluntly, I am not perfect. Okay? There was only one perfect one. that was Jesus Christ. Period. At the end of the sentence. No, they won't listen. So I did put a plastic bag on. Minister Joe, you want to show them the plastic bag, please? I'll show it to you. Hold on. Oh, I'm not kidding. I'm telling you, I don't play. When it comes to my Lord Jesus Christ, and you, you're my, Christians are being judgmental to people, and you, you, you know what? It's very wrong in my eyes. And if you disagree, well, I'm sorry. You need to read more of your content. I'll tell you straight up. I sure did. You want to see it? Here it is, actually. Hold on. Give me a second, y'all, okay? I have it up here. Oh, there you go. You see the plastic bag? I put a plastic bag on. I sure darn did. I don't play either. Plastic bag. Because they were being very ugly and judging other people by their appearances. That's not showing the love of Christ. I put my gothic lipstick because I like gothic. Look. This is me. Get over it. <laughs> That's what I got to say. Get over it. Okay. Thank you, brother. Brother from another mother. And so I get very uh, ugly messages. And I just deleted them and I blocked these people since they didn't want to take correction. Um, uh, very judgmental people. Uh, judging people by their appearance is not okay. We not to judge them by their outer appearance. We are to judge righteously if you are truly a minister of Jesus Christ and you have the right gospel. Because any other gospel being preached besides the one and only true good news is a false gospel. Uh, Brother Joe, will you read that in uh, Apostle Paul, please? where it talks about the mystery that was hidden and it hadn't been hidden the whole time because there's been other generations before us that were raptured in your Bible. That goes to the hyper dispensationists that think this, this is the first rapture in history. What are you doing? Y yes, but through we or angel from heaven preach any other gospel unto you than that which we have preached unto you, let him, let him be accursed. Mm hmm That's right. Go ahead, brother. You got this. As we said before, right. so shall I now again. If any man preach any other gospel unto you that that ye have received, let him be accursed. Uh, what? Oh my gosh, my dog. I'm so sorry. Y'all didn't hear that out. 
<laughs> Maybe you did. I don't know. <laughs> we'll find out. <laughs> okay. Hey, welcome, welcome. Okay. Yes. Thank you, uh, Brother Tony. Yeah. So, thank you for sharing the scripture. We greatly appreciate that. We want you all to understand you don't work for your salvation. It's a free gift. For There's nothing you can nothing. do to save yourselves. Go ahead, sorry. I, you're fine. For I know nothing but myself, yet I am... Not hereby justified, but he that judgeth judgeth me is the Lord. Therefore, judge judge nothing before the before the time until the Lord come, who both will bring to light the hidden things of darkness and will make manifest the counsels of the hearts. And then shall every man have praise of God. And these things, brethren, I have in a figure transferred to myself and to Apollo. Uh, Apollos for your sakes, that ye might learn in us not to think of men above that which is written, that, n that no one of you be puffed up for one against another. For, he, Amen. for, he, for, for who, for, for who maketh thee to differ from another? And what, what, what house thy art that thy art didn't re not receive? And now if thy thy art. Did did Jesus receive it? Why thy uh, why does does thy art glory if thy art has not received it? Now ye are full. Now ye are rich. Ye have res, have re, re, uh, reigned as kings without us. And I would and I would to God ye did reign that we also might reign with you. You got it, brother. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Go ahead, brother. You're good. Okay. You got it? You got this. Okay. Oh, second Corinthians. Okay, second Corinthians. Okay. Uh huh. Second Corinthians four, four, six. In whom the God of this world had blinded the minds of them which believe not, least the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine on them. For we preach not ourselves, but Christ, Jesus the Lord, and ourselves your servants for Jesus' sake. Mm-hmm. That's right. Keep on going. I'm going to invite some people, because people run when you share the good news. They don't want to hear it. can't comprehend it's free that's where the devil comes in blinds christians i've been there okay. go ahead brother who is that welcome welcome it looks familiar that thing this titus this is titus 3 5 I have this marked over here not by works of righteousness which we have done but according to his Mercy, he saved us by the washing of regeneration and renewing of the Holy Ghost, which he shed on us abundantly through Jesus Christ, our Savior, that being justified by his grace, we should be made heirs according to the hope of eternal life. Okay, Ephesians. Amen. Two. Okay, Ephesians 1. Okay. Okay, Ephesians 2. You know, you're fine. No, he's perfectly fine. Thank scripture. you for the scriptures. Remember where it is. Yeah, that's awesome. Appreciate it. Thank you. Okay. Okay, Ephesians 2. Okay, 1, 2. And ye and you hath he quickened who were dead in trespass and sins, where in time past ye walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience. Go ahead, brother. Among I'm on live on YouTube ministry channel so they can hear us over here, too. Okay. 
among whom also we we had our concerns in times past, in the lusts of our Amen. flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of mm-hmm. the mind, and whereby nature the children of wrath, even as others. Somebody wants you to read Romans 10, 9, 10. Okay, I'm going to get to that in a second. I'm, let me finish this. Oh, well, thank you, Minister Joe. You got 200 coins. You need thank to cash you your money out. Them. I've made uh, $20 and $7. Oh, wow. Well, I mean, it's blessing. just a blessing. I don't yeah. ask for money for the ministry. I just. Oh, no, no. Only if I have emergency is when the Lord lets me do that. Well, uh-huh. when I feel led. I don't say he lets me, but yeah. Just never felt to do it. Well, we give this our time and for, for the full time of this ministry. Oh, yeah. Okay, so let me continue reading. Yes. Uh, uh-huh. Yes. Also, four or five. Okay. But God, oh, but God, who is rich in mercy for his great love, wherewith uh-huh. he loved us, even when we were dead in sins, has quickened us together with Christ. By grace, ye are saved. Amen. Mm-hmm. That's right. Keep going. Okay, I'm gonna give Romans, me some water. Let me go to Romans. Uh, let me go to Romans real quick. Do I need to charge that? No, it's on eighty percent. Okay, Romans ten. Okay, Romans ten. Yes, I can read that. That. That if thy art shall confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shall believe in thy heart that God had raised had raised him from the dead, thy shall be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Here's Romans. Yeah, this is Romans. I'm going to go over here. It's the time already here. This is Romans 2. Uh, let me see. Rome, yeah, Romans 2, 21. But now the righteousness of God, which without the law is manifest, being being witnessed by the law and the prophets, even the righteous of God, which is, which is by faith of Jesus Christ unto all and upon all them that believe, for there is no difference. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God, being justified freely, freely by His grace through through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus, whom God had sent forth to be a preparation through faith in His blood, to declare His righteousness for the remission of for the remission of sins that are past through forbearance of God, to declare I say at this time His righteousness that He might that He might be just in the justifer of him which believeth in which believeth in Jesus. Well, my camera's doing that. Okay, that, that was do. uh, Romans three twenty one through twenty five. I just doing twenty six actually. I just read. Okay. Uh, let me see what else is in here. I can read. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm going to go to Romans 5, 1 and see what's here. Uh, Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom also we have access by faith into into this grace, wherein we stand and rejoice in the hope of the glory of God. Romans 5, 1, 2, okay, yes. Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our through our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom also we have access by faith into this grace wherein wherein, 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 
wherein ye we stand and rejoice in the hope of the glory of God. What are you doing? Let me go to. Um, oh, you're fine. Read, go ahead. I'm going to read the next one. I'm going to go over to, uh, yes, eight. But God commanded his love towards us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. That's right. Much, much more than, much more being now justified by his blood, we shall be saved from wrath through him. That's right. And that's actually another scripture uh, right there in Romans 5. Now, that actually parallels to 1 Thessalonians 5, 3, that we're not appointed to wrath. Um, we don't go through any of the wrath that's coming when Jesus uh, that's right. comes at the appointed day, which is upon us. Yes, it definitely is here. Okay, Romans, okay, Romans 8, 18, 28. Okay, I'm going to go there. All right. You got one person on YouTube. What's going on with our channel? Good grief. I'm not sure. Um, mm -hmm. It's all right. Go ahead. Okay. Okay, Romans. Okay, Romans 8.18. Okay. 28 and 9. Excuse me. For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. Mm. And we know that all things work together for good to them that what? love God, to them who are called according to his purpose. That's right, Ma. But ye are not in the flesh, but in the in the spirit. That's right. If so, if so, that the spirit of God dwell dwell in you. Now, if any man have not the spirit of Christ, he is none of none of his. Oh, what's the definition of that? That means they're a son of the devil. They're not of Jesus, mm -hmm. unless they have a re repent, have a change of mindset. From non-belief to belief of the finished work of the cross of Calvary, they won't inherit the kingdom unless you believe in vain. Yes, they have not received. And they don't have the holy. They don't have the Holy Spirit in them if they're not a, if they're not a child of His. Exactly. Okay, John eight twenty four. Okay. Let me go over there. First Peter four. Okay, I can read that too. Hold on, let me get the John one first. Let's see where I'm next to. I'm looking. Mm -hmm. Okay, John 8.24. Okay. You are the branches. I have this said, therefore, you. unto you that ye, that ye shall die in your sins, if, for if ye believe not that I am he, ye shall die in your sins. Amen. Welcome, welcome, DJ. Welcome, everybody coming in. Hey, DJ. Welcome. DJ. Gosh, where's everybody at with the ministry? This is crazy. Our ministry has not been that dead on uh, YouTube ever. Yeah. Well, couldn't go on for over, what, a, a week or so? A little bit more than that. Hadn't been on. Yeah. Uh, this is a good one. How about Acts? I'm going to share this one real quick, and y'all can share the next scripture. Whoever's got another scripture. All right. Tell okay, me Acts 19. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, 
4. Then said Paul, John, Valley baptized with the baptism of repentance, saying unto people that they should believe on him, which should come after him that is on Christ Jesus. Hmm. Wow. Not to baptize one in the water anymore. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. I felt glad to come over here tonight. Glad to see you this evening. All right. Go ahead, brother. Okay. This is uh, 1 Peter. Yeah. 1 Peter 4.12. Beloved, think, think it not strange concerning the fury trial, which is to try you as through some strange thing happened unto you. What? What chapter is that? Uh, uh, First Peter four twelve. It's what uh, Tony. Oh, shared Old Testament. Okay, you threw me off for a minute. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay. The Bible talks about those under the law. They are hang on the tree and they are cursed. Yeah, that's they're under a curse. Galatians 3.13. That's right. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah, Galatians 3.13. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm trying to remember. Yeah, Christ had redeemed us from the curse of the law, being made a curse for us, for it is written, Cursed is everyone that hangeth on a tree. I mean, the old laws are cursed because Jesus has already um, fulfilled the law when he died and was rose Oops. again on the third day. Okay. This is facts. Yep, Romans 2.16. Uh -huh. No joke. Uh -huh. Can't believe how little we have people here. This is insane in the membrane. Okay, 1 Corinthians 10. Okay, I'm going to go there. 1 Corinthians 10.13. Folks are sleeping or something? Nah, they must be. No, they just don't want to hear the free gift. That's right. For the law was given by Moses, but grace and truth came by Jesus Christ. Amen. Yep. That's right. The law was a schoolmaster when we read it, you know, the old, uh -huh. the, the old that's right. everything that's pertaining to the old covenant and right. from the ancient times. Here's a good one. I'm going to read this one real quick. Is that okay? Yeah. I found one that's a good one. Uh, Romans 3, verses 21, God's righteousness by faith. But now the righteousness of God without the law is manifest, being a witness by the law. And in the prophets, even the righteousness of God, which is by faith of Jesus Christ unto all upon all them that believe, for there is no difference. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God, being justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus, whom God had sent forth to be a petition through faith in his blood to declare his righteousness of the remissions of sins that are past p a s t brother's not here to get the facts of this he's missing out on a lot of meat to declare i say at that time his righteousness that he might be just and the just i mean 
justifier of him which believeth in Jesus. Woo! Isn't that powerful? Go ahead, brother. Verse 27 and 26 and 29 are good, too. All right. First Corinthians, uh, this is First Corinthians 10, 13, and 14. Uh, Hold on. Yeah, here it is. I can't there, believe there had there had there had had no temptation taken you, but such as but such as is common to man, but God is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye that ye are able, but what will with the temptation also make a way to escape that ye may be able to bear it. Mm-hmm. Wherefore, my my dearly beloved, flee from adultery. Mm. Oh my gosh, you're all wet. That's right. Second Corinthians four seventeen. Okay. Yeah, flee from adultery, but it's easy said than done. I'm gonna just be honest. Yeah. It is not that simple. Entertaining the flesh has down. Abraham was justified by works. He had wear off the glory and not for God. For what saith the scripture? Abraham believed God. Oh, this is a good one. Chapter four in uh, Romans. Listen to this. For what saith the scripture? Question mark. Abraham believed God. He didn't work for his salvation. It don't say that. For what saith the scripture, question mark, Abraham believed God, it was counted unto him for righteousness. Now to him that worketh is the reward not revoked of grace, but of debt. But to him that worketh not, but believeth on him that is justified by the ungodly, his faith is counted for righteousness. Oh my goodness. Mm, that was simple, wasn't it? It's yeah, easy and, said. Yeah, and that was also a time in the ancient way back yonder in the ancient time when uh they had they had the they were under they would have been under the law, but yet uh, he had our father had mercy on him and he believed him. Exactly. They seemed to forget all the ones that were doing stuff what they were believers. Saul, come on now. I mean, what, what, what are we throwing up this sin thing up for? Did you not forget about Noah, who was a blast, a drunk? Can we just preach a little bit? Yep, Noah was a drunk, and yet Abba Father had mercy on him, and he uh, he had mercy hmm. on him and his whole family in that 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 period of time, and they were the only ones that were righteous enough to uh, to. Uh, to bear the responsibility, I would say, I guess, of uh, continuing mm-hmm. the generations of humanity to come after that great reset of the fl- the event of the flood. Right. Can you play that video up there, brother? Do you have another way you can play a video on my TikTok that I just uploaded where it's talking about all those in the Bible that didn't work for their salvation in the Old Testament? Uh, Jeremiah. I think it was Jeremiah yeah. had a temper. I have a temper. And I'm a believer. Uh, sometimes porn. I'm still a believer. Can't lose my salvation. Uh, we fall short of glory of God on a daily basis. What else? Uh, the F-bomb comes out of my mouth sometimes and S H I T comes out of my mouth sometimes. Uh, Still got that gangster attitude that comes from domestic violence and gang violence and different situations. Of I have triggers, and I still snap on people sometimes here and there. So we are not perfect ministers. You know what video I'm talking about? Yeah, I probably have to. Pull it up. Um, let me read the scripture here. Tell me, tell me to share. Sure, it. go Second, ahead. Second Corinthians four seventeen eighteen. Okay, for our light, for our light affliction, which is but for a moment, worketh 
for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. Why hmm. we look not at the things which are seen, but of the things which are not seen, for the things which are seen are tomorrow, uh, tomorrow, but the things which are not seen are eternal. There you go. Ephesians four twenty nine. Yes, that's yeah. Thank you so much. Please share. Please subscribe to the channel. We love you. Appreciate you. And thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, fits of rage. Uh, fits of rage. I can't. I don't have rage, but I can get angry. I used to have rage. Ooh, honey. I was real bad. I bust. Doors down to apartments because a uh, boyfriend was cheating on me. Yep, yep. Ran my car into his back rear end, chased him down the road. So, yeah, I've done some crazy stuff. And I busted my head into a brick wall, didn't feel no pain because I was furious. Mm -hmm. My fist, too. Doctor told me I break my pinky. I, uh, should have broke my pinky as hard as I hit the brick wall with the anger of being bullied at school when I was younger and called ugly names. It says some of the compliments was filtered to protect the community experience. What compliments? DJ, you're not a bad person. What do you mean you're a bad person? As far as since we've since you've been coming on here with us, we've never we've never encountered you as a bad person. Uh uh. You read it, brother. She says, "My compliments. You didn't know me before." Oh, okay. Mm. Well, we all have our skeletons in the closet. I mean, you know, Jesus cleans them out after we're saved. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I've worked very hard to. I couldn't say I did the work, but uh, through the Holy Spirit to uh, change my mindset of how I present myself. Mm -hmm. I have anger and heart. I, I just know what triggers me. Things from things that still deal with in my personal stuff. There's certain things I can't talk about because they really trigger me. Or certain things people say to me, I get triggered. And sad but true, they do trigger me certain conversations with certain things and certain situations. It can, it can, it can I'll go into detail on here. <laughs> it can it can be a weakness by the enemy when some when uh, it gets used against you. That's true, and I also believe there's a such thing as hurt and pain, and it's not all because people say, "Well, you know, it's just your emotions." No, no, no. Uh, emotions are real most of the time. If they're, these people are not faking it, but there are people that are in pain and and lonely and and hurting, and you know. They tuck away their situations in their pocket of their heart. But when somebody brings it up, it really can hit you hard. Oh, yeah. There's suffering, dying, crying humanity out here, I mean, in the world. Right. And so, I don't think anybody should judge somebody because they're upset about something. That's just, just ridiculous. You know, Apostle Paul got thoroughly agitated at times. 
Oh, you know I get it. You've witnessed me. Yeah. I've wanted to wring some necks. Mm -hmm. And I do say stuff. I do say stuff sometimes out of my flesh, for real. I'll tell you straight up, I do. Mm -hmm. I just still have that gangster in me, but I try to keep it humble. Mm-hmm. You want all what? Meekness, patience, slow to anger? Oh, uh, you can ask the Lord to help you with that. He helped me because I used to bust my head in brick wall, bust my fist in walls. I have holes in the walls actually now from way back when, years ago, uh, before I truly got saved. I had a horrible temper. I even get people's face and start drooling and throwing things and busting things and busting tires and uh, eventually started being revengeful to people that hurt me and I'm just some really crazy stuff. Uh, I even had a hatred towards Christians, didn't I, Minister Joe? You remember that, brother? Repeat that again, I'm sorry. I said I had hatred towards Christians because how they act. Yeah, yeah. Can you hear me? Yep. Yeah. I dealt with that. Yep. I have a lot of trust issues with Christians. I didn't even want to call myself a Christian. Um, I really don't like to call myself Christian, to be honest with you. I still don't. Because of how hateful most of them are and how fake they are. Okay. I just call myself a believer, a minister. Of truth. That's what I call it. I think I remember that scripture. Ephesians four twenty nine, brother. Okay. I'm familiar with that scripture because I've Ma I have it memorized pretty well. Uh let me see. Yeah. I can remember. Uh oh. Don't forget about your sausage in there. I didn't know if you forgot about it. Let, let, I just let remembered. No, let, let no corruption okay. proceedeth out of your mouth, but that which is corruption. used which that is to the use of edifying that it may minister his grace onto the hairs. If I remember, that's how it's, uh, yeah, that's how it's pronounced. Yeah, you're talking about don't let no corrupt thing come out of your mouth? Yeah, that's what, that's, it. Yeah, that's Ephesians 4.29. That's easy said than done. Because since 2020, my mouth has just, wow, factored me. Because... Something changed <laughs> in the whole world in 2020, and a lot of things from my past started coming up in front of me, and weaknesses with my tongue, especially. Ooh, mm -hmm. I'll be honest. I like the dark. I live in the dark. If I turn that light off, I'm on ministry. Oh, you go night night. Okay. All right. Go ahead, brother. Oh, uh, yes. Grieve not the Holy Spirit of God, where, where, whereby ye are sealed until the day of redemption. That's that's a good one to memorize for those who are having issues with uh, uh, feeling that they're uh, mm -hmm. having a hard time trusting their salvation. A new, a newly, uh, a new creature, a new, a newly, uh, a new, a new, a new believer, especially that's struggling with that. Oh, yeah, I have family members that used to throw my past up in front of me. I tell them I'm not the same person I used to be. And they would do it. I get so angry at them. I even yelled, which was wrong. But I have in the past. Now, it doesn't. it's not rubbed my face anymore because they actually realize I changed. They actually, I guess they can trust it is what the, I guess that's what it is. Because they know that bad person you used to be. That person used to be that crazy girl. And you know, I come after you. I go after you. <laughs> I did some crazy stuff. I mean, I was bullied really bad in school. Um, I was chased around with a nine millimeter by a Russian gang in middle school through the whole pool section. And they wanted to kill me. I mean, I've had quite a few life-threatening situations with gangs. And uh, been shot at, too. 
So nine millimeter pointed at me more than once. So, yeah. Like, what do you mean scream? I uh, get really upset, really frustrated, really quickly. That was my trigger. I had a bad temper. Oh, my gosh. I get so anger and rage. And then when I finally started really changing, they say, quit yelling. I'm like, that's my righteous anger. That's part of the ministry. But I had to learn how to humble that, too. You had a gun to my... I had a gun to my head, and I had a gang... Gangs after me, but the Lord kept me alive. Amen. Amen. See there, DJ? Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep, I hear you. I've been in the Mexican gangs. I know about it. You hang out with the different barrios, they'll kill you. Don't matter how old you are either. You can be a little kid. Hang out with another body or they'll kill you. Oh, my goodness. What are you doing, punky poo? Brother Jay, you still there? You went to sleep. I want to make sure Brother Joe's still alive over here. Minister uh, of Final Moments and Final Countdown on YouTube is just dead as get out, y'all. Minister Joe. I think he got shut down, y'all. I'm going to have to do it again. All right. Really? Free Willie in the house. All right. Please listen. That saves 1 Corinthians 15, 1 to 4. Moreover, brethren... I declare unto you the gospel which I preached unto you, which also ye have received, and wherein ye stand, by which also ye are saved, if ye keep in memory what I preached unto you, unless ye have believed in vain. I don't hear him. For I delivered unto you first of all that which I also Ooh. received, how that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day, according to the scriptures. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth, to the Jew first, and also to the Greek. For by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God, I think we lost him. not of works, lest any man should boast. For Christ is the end of the law for righteousness to everyone that believes it. You hear something else? Oh, you still there? I hear him now. Can you hear me? I forgot how to mute this thing. Hey, can you hear me? I can hear you, but I'm trying to mute it so I can answer. Okay, I, I, I had a mom over, over here, but I can't remember how to mute it. Oh, I forgot how to mute. How do you mute this thing? I don't know if you I can don't, mute this. I, I don't about remember. TikTok? 
Yeah, I'm trying to mute it so I can see what the question is. Because I don't like to get on TikTok, my business. No, I understand. I don't, well, there should be a way you can mute it, I think. I feel the whole... Uh, mute accounts. Okay, good, DJ. I'm glad you can hear me. Oh, I don't even remember how to mute it. I had to step away for a minute. I should have said something. I just didn't want to be rude and interrupt. Or maybe you can't mute it. What? Mama, was it important you need to share something with me? Oh, okay. Okay. All right. What time? Okay, Joe, can you take over? Okay. Okay. Joe. Can you hear me, boy? That's fine. <laughs> yes, I can Joe? hear you. Oh, okay. Talking to a window. All right, I'm going to go take care of something. I'll be right back. Okay. You, okay, let me put this on the charger while I'm at it. Where the hell? What was that? Well, I'm going in there. I'm not doing it in here because I'm on live, Mama, and these people can hear my business. And there's some crazy folks on TikTok. Watch yeah, what we say. J just let Milo hear it. I ain't scared. Uh, but it's none of your damn business. I think she was trying to find a way to mute it, DJ. Um, the, uh, the TikTok has a feature on here that you can change the voices. Yeah, it really can make your voice sound very different. Can you hear me? Oh, okay. I hope you can hear me. Okay, okay good. Yeah, we can uh, hear you. I'll be back in a minute. Why does some vibe? Okay. Yeah, if you go, if you look at Acts uh, 5.30, I know that that in the King James, it does state in there that uh, Jesus, uh, let me see here. The God of our fathers raised up Jesus, whom he slew and hung, hung on a tree. Um, that's actually in scripture. Um, some of these other Bibles, um, I'm not sure. They might have different, they have jacked up translations. Um, it does say in the scripture that he hung it on a tree, which would represent uh, the wood, the wood of what they used to form a cross would have been what they used to uh, crucify what he was crucified. Crucified on. Yeah. 
Yeah, just there, but she's not paying attention. Hmm. Okay, I'm back. Anybody going on? Anybody going on? Everything, I don't even know how to speak English anymore. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's get the back straight. I'm fine. Sorry, I'm just playing that over here on YouTube. All right. All Go right. Ahead. You want to play the if you, Are we you, done you here? video? I'm just playing on the other end because nobody's watching over there. I'm fixing to hang up. I'm getting off of there because they're not even coming in. Wow. Uh, it's ridiculous. Only one or that was it. Hmm. I don't know why it's still playing because it's turned off. Goodbye. Okay, there you go, bro. I ain't trying to pay no payment. What the hell are you talking about? You drink your water, Tweety Pumpkin. Somebody has a question, brother. I think you're getting lightheaded over there, brother. How'd you know? Because uh, you're not answering the questions. <laughs> yes. I can tell you're getting sleepy. Yes. Okay, I'm getting out of here. Time. Okay, let me answer. We got DJ. Okay, why did God say the devil was mm-hmm. snakes uh, on the ground? Uh, he was probably referring to uh, after the uh-huh. fall happened. Uh, he was referring to uh, the Satan being a curse to the earth because of uh, Adam and Eve when they fell. Uh, the fall happened. It gave him dominion, so uh-huh. he kind of. He kind of slithers around. He can he slithers around just like a snake, and the serpent that he is. Yeah. All right. Let me go back. There. Let me go back there. Um. I can't believe we don't have any people on here. And after they want to come over here, they already left. Uh, yes, uh, snakes. Yes, S- snakes can be like this. Well, yeah, they can be deceiving. Uh, vipers uh, referred to in uh, scripture uh, in the parables in uh, Matthew. Yeah. Let me see it. That's Matthew. Uh, yes. Y'all got it? Yes. Mm-hmm. 
In Revelations 12, uh, let me go there. Revelations 12, uh, Revelations 12, 9, that would be the great dragon which was cast out, that old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. Uh-huh. And that's what's going to happen with, uh, well, the dominion, well, I'm going to say the, uh, the back door is going to be shut on him because he's been uh, warring with the, uh, the uh, Michael the Archangel since 2020. Uh, on the day of the Lord, he's going to be casted down with him and the uh, the third of his fallen angel, uh, the fallen ones. So he hasn't been uh, he, the position that he has with Roman to and fro with uh, going up to the throne, because he still has access to Abba Father's throne, um, that's going to be cut off on the day of the Lord, because he's going to get thrown down here uh, as warm wood in uh, Revelations. Uh, I'm trying to remember in Revelations. I think, yeah, Revelations 8, yeah, Revelations 8, that's where warm wood is. That would be describing it also with his, uh, he's casted down to the earth. After we go, mm-hmm. as we're being caught up, then he comes down. What? What are you talking about? Nobody's talking to you. You hear noises? Uh, actually, the, uh, yes, the Old Testament does talk about his beauty, but also we know in 2 Corinthians, uh, 2 Corinthians, uh, let me see, 2 Corinthians 10, I think it is, hold on. No, that's not it. Uh, hold on, let me, let me get this for you. Mm Mm-hmm. Mm-mm-mm. The answer question. Thank you, brother. Okay. Fourteen. And no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. So, this actually describes, um, this is stating that he, uh, he himself is an, he may, he can transform himself as an angel of light to, uh, deceive the, uh, the world. And, uh, He's not well. Yeah, he's actually he's he's actually an angel. Uh, very he's a good, beautiful angel. Um, that's what's deceiving about him. Um, he's not just some just some red being with pitchforks and horns. Even though he could probably shape shift into that if he wants to, but you know he actually is an he actually is the um, the manifestation of a beautiful angel. That's what's the deceiving part about that is. Uh-huh. If you see anybody that's ever telling you that he looks like, um, that they've seen him and he has claws, that's not, uh, that's not, uh, that was more of a, like, a demonic being. That's not, um, that's not what he looks like. Mm-hmm. 
so what you can see. Oh, he's on mute. Brother Joe. I don't know what happened, y'all. He disappeared. <laughs> 